Yoga Club. Hello, welcome to Yoga Club. Now tell me, are you still seeing your friends? Maybe not face to face right now, but perhaps on video? Hmm? I know it's tricky to properly play with each other, but I thought this week's yoga club could be a great chance for you to ask a friend to join you for yoga club. You could do it together on a video call. I know some of you are already doing that and it gave me the idea to suggest it. There's something lovely about doing it with someone else, knowing that they're doing the exact same thing as you. It makes us all feel a bit more together, which is wonderful at the moment. Before we start our Buddied Up Yoga Club, I want to share some messages from all our wonderful yoga club friends. Big shout outs to Chloe, aged four, and Carter, aged eight, in Washington State. Love that you all enjoy doing your yoga together as a family. Bear sent a great idea for a yoga story. A baby bird called Flutter taking his first migration flight. That would work wonderfully. Thanks, Bear. And hello to your sister too, who I hear enjoys yoga every day. Hello to Jojo, who is five, and her sister Amy, who is three. These lovely girls live in Durban, South Africa. Jojo, I'm so glad you've been enjoying the Christmas episode. I also love Christmas and Christmas trees. I'm glad to hear Amy enjoys the Frozen and Star Wars yoga adventures too. Hello to Laura and Puff the Panda, Laura's favourite stuffed animal. Laura is seven and suggests race to the edge as a yoga adventure. I need to have a look at that one, Laura. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Hello to Virginia, aged five, and her brother Joey, aged two, in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm so glad you both enjoy the yoga adventures. Thanks to Callie for writing about Dylan, aged six, and Jones, aged three, who have both finished their yoga quest. Go kids! Fabulous to hear that Wisha Washa Woo is now being sung throughout the house. Lovely to see the both of them in their brilliant picture as well, Callie. Thank you for sending it. Hello to Augie, aged three, from Manila in the Philippines, who loves the Star Wars adventure and is looking forward to the Beauty and the Beast adventure. Now, I am rehearsing that story right now, I'll have you know. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Dennis, Augie's dad, for writing and letting me know how Augie has not only been doing the yoga adventures twice a day, but she's teaching her grandmother how to do it too. How fantastic is that? Well done, Augie. Hello to Iniel in California. Glad you enjoy the yoga and doing it with your mum or dad. It's a great form of family exercise. Claire, so lovely that James and Peter enjoy getting a shout out on Yoga Club. And thank you so much for that beautiful video and those gorgeous pictures of their faces. Thanks to you, Hamish, for giving some more thought to Beauty and the Beast. I too am working on those moves and wonder what you would do for Cogsworth. Hmm. Well, we'll see once it's made whether we were thinking along the same lines. And by the way, Hamish, I loved your Peter Rabbit yoga. Hello to Austin and Mum Christy. Austin would love a jungle themed yoga story. Now I would like to do one about a tiger, which could work quite well in the jungle setting. Gorgeous Grace, thank you so much for your beautiful video message. So wonderful to hear you speak so passionately about Cosmic Kids and how much you love it. And also how long you've been doing it. I also love your ideas about doing an inside out and American girl dog, do American girl doll, not dog. I love the values and the history of the dolls. What a great idea. I'll see if there's anything I could do with that. Oliver and Edward, hello to you. Oliver is seven and Edward is four and would love a Harry Potter 2 yoga adventure. I've added it to the list, boys. Thank you very much. Lev in Israel, what a lovely message. I'm glad you liked the Dinosaurs and Dragons episode and I'm sorry I'm not there in Israel to say hi in person. As your dad says, I am in the UK, but I am there with you when we do yoga, so that's good. Thanks for sending your video. Hello to Hayley, who is five from Harpers Ferry in West Virginia. Thanks for the wonderful ideas. A story about a bat called Spotty, nice, and another about a grumpy panda, fabulous. I'm so glad you enjoy the yoga and the disco. 
Eddie, I so loved your message and to see your picture with your Yoga Quest certificate. What a lovely smile. Also, that picture you did of me and you walking in the meadow, it's just wonderful, thank you. I love your ideas too. Peter Pan, yes, I love that story too. Your favourite line is, I do believe in fairies, which is lovely. My favourite line is when Peter gives the directions to Neverland and he says, second star to the right and straight on till morning. I have to write to Great Ormond Street, the hospital, to ask if I can do it. And the Beano, yes, you're right about all the awesome characters. And Banana Man, yeah, I love that show. Eric at 29 Acacia Road, thank you for the great suggestions. And to Betty, Eddie's mum. Big shout out to twin brothers Jack and Liam, age six in Chicago. It sounds like all the yoga is making you two boys super strong, which is fantastic. Hello and love to you, Abigail, and hello to V, who is six in New York. Lovely to hear you've been enjoying the yoga clubs and you're hoping one day to learn how to cartwheel. I'm sure that will be happening soon. Keep practicing as your mum says. I love hearing from you, so please do send me a message to yoga club at cosmickids.com. If I don't read out your name here, don't worry. I do read every single message and I love learning about you. Don't forget the Yoga Quest is waiting for you. So download those free maps and see if you can make it to the end. I know you can. I love how many of you have already achieved this magnificent feat. Right, so hopefully you're all ready, you and your friends. And if you are, we will begin. Get someone to take pictures if you're doing this with your friends over video. And if you're not, don't worry, you're a friend of mine and I'll be doing it with you too. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at that. All that spinning around. All the colours and the patterns. It's so pretty. Oh, can you see it? Yes, look. It's a truck. All right, me. It's Diggory the dump truck. Oh, look what Diggory's doing. I think he's trying to do, oh, yoga. I think he's trying to do rock and roll pose. Oh, well done, Diggory. Oh, my word, this is wonderful. Today we're off to meet Diggory the dump truck, who is in fact a toy dump truck. So we need to go find him in the toy box. Let's come into our toy box pose. Joining the soles of your feet together, take your knees out wide and hold on to your feet. Now lower your head down towards your toes. Now we open up the lid of the toy box by lifting up our head. Ready? And inside, there's Diggory, the dump truck. Taking your legs out long, everyone. Let's do our bumpy dump truck pose. Holding onto your steering wheel, we go backwards with a beep, 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 beep. We go forwards with a We go over one way with a And we go over the other way with a Then we sit up tall like Diggory and we pull the horn. Toot toots. 
Now, in the toy box living with Diggory are his other toy friends. There's Derek, the Diplodocus dinosaur. Coming into your dinosaur pose, everyone. Standing up, take your feet wide and slowly folding forwards, taking hold of your ankles. Now, lifting up your feet as you go clump, 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 like a dinosaur, rolling all the way up to stand. Now, Derek, being a Diplodocus, has a very, very long tail. Turn yourself to the side and bring your hands either side of your front foot. Stretch your back leg out behind you, coming into a lunge pose, showing how long your tail is. Very good. Now, he also has a very long neck. So make your legs as strong as they can go and then see if you can lift your fingers, bring them to your heart and reach on up, making your Diplodocus neck. Wow, amazing, everyone. Also in the toy box is Doris, the giant cuddly donut. Mm. She's a ring shape, so let's do that. Coming down onto your tummies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Now lift yourself up, coming into your donut shape. Hello, I'm Doris, I'm pink, and I've got lots of extra sprinkles. <laughs> we lower ourselves down. Now, also in the toy box is Dixie, the donkey. So let's do a couple of donkey kicks. Coming up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes and lift your bottom to the sky. Now walk one of your feet in and make your arms as straight as they can go. We're going to do a little kickety kick in the air. Ready? One, two, three, kickety kickety kick. And again, one, two, three, kickety kickety kick. Well done, everyone. Sitting up tall. Now, all of the toys belong to a little girl called Dana, who loves playing with them. She gets them out of the toy box every day. Taking your legs out long, stretching your arms wide, Dana twists one way to get out Diggory, the dump truck, and Derek, the dinosaur. Then she stretches her arms wide again and twists the other way to get out Doris, the donut, mm. and Dixie, the donkey. And coming back to centre, now, Dana loves making up adventures for them all to act out, where usually Diggory, the dump truck, is the hero, coming into your dump truck hero pose. Up onto your knees, everyone. Now, bring your hands forwards, take your feet wide, and snuggle your bottom down between your ankles, sitting up nice and tall. Now, if you're comfortable there, you can stay there. But if this is a bit ouchy on your knees, bring your hands forward again, lift your bottom up, bring your heels back under and sit yourself back. Now, crisscross your fingers, turn them inside out and lift them up above your head, coming into your hero pose. And being Diggory the dump truck, let's pull the horn. Toot toots! Everything was wonderful apart from the day when Dana and her family decided to get a dog, Dotty the dog, coming into dog pose. Onto your hands and knees, everyone. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. And let's do a little woof like Dotty. Woof, 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 woof. Now, Dotty really liked Dana's room because it was full of lovely toys sitting down on your knees. One day, Dana had been in a bit of a hurry tidying them away and she left poor Derek the dinosaur lying on his back in the middle of the room. Coming to lie on your backs, everyone, bend your knees in towards your armpits and hold on to the soles of your feet. Help! I've been left out of the toy box! But it was too late because Dotty the dog came wandering past, coming into your dog pose, sitting up, onto your hands and your knees and tuck your toes, press your hips up to the sky. Dotty sees Derek and thinks, oh, I think I'll go have a look. And she comes into her puppy pose to give him a smell. Down onto your knees, everyone. Walk your hands forwards a little bit and lower your chest and your nose to give Derek a little sniff. <laughs> Mmm, chewy saurus. Then Dotty gets into a position that's very comfortable, lying on her tummy with her legs out behind her. She clasps Derek between her paws and then she begins to nibble and nibble and nibble and nibble until poor Derek's tail is no longer there. All he's got is a stump. Ah! 
Luckily, at that moment, Dottie has called for dinner. Oh, otherwise, Derek would have been her dinner. Coming up to sit, hugging your knees, Derek huddles himself up. <laughs> He's terrified. What if she comes back and she finishes me off? <laughs> Diggory the dump truck bumps over, taking your legs out long, and let's bump. <laughs> he toot toots when he gets there, toot toots, and he sees the problem. Oh my, oh my, Derek, what's that Dotty the dog done to your tail? Dixie the donkey does a donkey kick in shock. Coming into your donkey kick pose, everyone. Onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes, lift your bottom. Step one leg forward and let's do a kickety kick. Ready? Kickety kickety kick. And again, one, two, three. Kickety kickety kick. Well done, everyone. And poor Doris the mm. donut is in shock. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom. Reach round, grab your ankles and lift yourself up. I know, I know, I'm going to be next. I'm a donut. Ah! They sit up. They need to think and come up with a plan. Diggory has an idea. I know, Derek. I think we've got to make you look as scary and massive as a dragon. And he does dragon pose to show us what he means. Coming onto one knee, everyone, stepping your foot forward. Now crisscross your thumbs and reach them up above your head, wiggling your fingers. Now stick out your tongue like you're breathing fire like a dragon. <laughs> Oh, very scary. This way, she'll never come in here again. She'll leave Derek alone. Sitting back on your heels, they get to work making Derek look as big and scary as possible. First, Derek lies on his tummy. Coming down to lie on your bellies, everyone. Your hands under your shoulders. And Derek wiggles his little snake-like head into the middle of Doris the donut. So now he's got a ginormous pink and green head with extra sprinkles. He's as wide as a star, coming up to stand in star pose, taking your feet wide and your arms wide, except he's a bit wobbly because he hasn't got a tail. Then they practice doing their scariest dragon face with a lion pose. Coming down onto your knees, everyone. And after three, let's do a big sticky outy tongue lion pose. Here we go. One, two, three. Rawr! Wow, well done, everyone. Next, Derek and Doris get on top of Dixie the donkey like they're riding a horse. Coming into our horse pose. Onto one knee, step one foot forwards. Now bring your hands to your heart and tuck your back toes. We're going to reach our arms up high and then rock forwards and backwards going. Fantastic. Finally, Diggory the dump truck lowers his tipper like a ramp so they can all climb on board. Coming into your ramp pose, down onto two knees, hands forward, now stretch one foot back and the other foot back, coming into a nice strong planky ramp. Yes, they walk their feet forwards on board Diggory the dump truck and they roll up to stand and they all pull the horn. Toot, toots. Now they're ready. Derek is enormous. He's massive. He's got the hugest head ever. But they need to make it dark. So they draw the curtains. Folding yourself halfway forwards, stretch your arms out wide and sweep them closed to close the curtain. Shh. Standing all the way up. They come to stand in front of the door of the bedroom like mountains, strong and still, totally immovable, ready for Dotty whenever she comes in. The door opens, coming into door pose. Down onto your knees, everyone. Take your leg to the side, your arm to the sky, and let's open the door with a creak. It's Dotty, the dog. Let's come into our dog pose. Onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up to the sky. 
Hmm. Now let me see. Where's that dinosaur? I'm going to finish him for my tea. And this is the moment. Walking your forward, your feet forwards, everyone. Rolling up to stand. Diggory gets into action and toot toots. Toot toots. Standing with your feet wide and your arms wide, he switches on his spinning siren lights. Let's make our siren sound, everyone. <laughs> then he does his warning sound. Warning, 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 warning. Dixie the donkey, donkey kicks Derek and Doris into the air, coming into your donkey kicks pose. Onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your bottom up, step one foot forward, and let's do a little kickety up. Here we go. Kickety, kickety kick, and again. Kickety, kickety kick, well done. And coming onto your knees, because Derek and Doris do the biggest, scariest dragon lion face they can. Ready, after three, one. Two, three, <laughs> Dotty the dog is terrified of the dragon dump truck monster with the donut head and the kicking legs that she dog runs out of there. Let's come into our dog run pose. Bringing your hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom up. Now, let's keep our hands planted as we run with our legs. Ready? Run! Quick! Coming down onto your knees, everybody. Derek is delighted. And he takes his little arms out wide and he gives his friends, after pulling his head out of Doris, a great big hug. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Later that evening, Dana opens her toy box. Let's come into our toy box pose. Sitting on your bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and bringing your head down towards them to close the lid. Now lifting your head up to open it. Ready? One, two, three. She sees Derek and his tail. Oh, Derek, what's happened to your tail? Oh. Dotty. So poor Dana, she knows what's happened. She gets to work with her Play-Doh, rubbing it and rubbing it, making it into lots and lots of different coloured Diplodocus tails. Derek's so happy because now he's got lots of replacement tails and a different colour for every day of the week. Ah, oh, with those lovely warm hands now, everyone. Cut them over your eyes and let your eyes rest in that warm, lovely space. Ah. Oh. We lower our hands down and we feel ready for a little bit of a rest. So we stretch ourselves all the way long across the floor with our arms down by our sides, our legs flopping out to the side. And we take a few moments just to be here, to be peaceful and calm. <sighs> we think about that story, Diggory the dump truck. Derek the dinosaur, Doris the donut and Dixie the donkey, Naughty Dotty the dog and Dana, all the Ds. But what we learnt was that teamwork will win through in the end. When we work together, our problems are halved. So we must always support our friends when they need help. And you must always tell someone if you can't figure something out because together you'll be able to solve any problem. Slowly we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes. We bring our knees into our chest and we give them a hug. We roll over onto our side and we open up our eyes, coming up to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands to our heart and we finish our adventure just as we started it with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done, everyone. Thanks for doing Diggory the Dump Trucks adventure with me. You are awesome. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.
everyone, it's time to tap into some superhero powers and today it's Spider-Man. We begin, as all spiders do, as an egg, coming down onto your knees. Huddle yourself up into a tiny little ball like you're a little egg, lowering your head to the ground. 
slowly our spider starts to hatch, taking your arms out in front of you, stretching them long. Now peel your chest along the ground as you stretch your body nice and long as well. Curl your shoulders up and lift your chest to have a look out of your egg. Mm, we need to stretch our legs. We come up onto our knees, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky, making our legs as long as they'll go. Yes! Now come high up onto your tiptoes and walk your feet all the way in to the middle. Now roll up slowly to stand and turn to the front. It's time to take the pose of a spider. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and bend your knees so that you can bring your fingers in between your feet. Now, ticker, 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 ticker your hands to the outsides of your feet and see if you can shuffle your feet in a little bit until maybe your toes come to touch and your legs are resting on your arms. Now you are in the pose of a spider. A radioactive spider bit Peter Parker, a high school student, and it gave him all the powers of a spider. He became Spider-Man. He could leap higher than a house. Unravel your arms and legs and come into a crouch position. Let's do some spider star jumps. After three, ready? One, two, three, whoosh! And again, one, two, three, whoosh! Last time, one, two, three, whoosh! Well done, everyone. He could climb up skyscrapers, coming up to stand and climb. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. He could even hang off the ceiling. Lying on your back, everyone, take your legs all the way up and your arms up because he would cling on with his sticky web. Amazing. He could even make web come out of his wrists, coming up to stand. Take your legs nice and wide. Now, take your hands forward. Join your third and fourth finger together and bring it into your palms. This is it. He's activated the spidey ducts. Take them to the side, turn your toe to the side, bend your knee and fire your web. And jump your feet the other way. And do it the other side. Wow. Now bring your feet back together and stand in your mountain pose. This is where Spider-Man uses his spidey sense. He closes his eyes to feel what's going on around him. He is still. He is calm. He is focused and strong. Opening your eyes, everyone. His nemesis is nearby, the green goblin. It's time to activate the web. Jump your feet wide, arms wide, and begin to spin. He makes lots and lots of web, so much that he can put the green goblin in a cocoon. Jump your feet back together and cross one leg over the other. Take your arms wide and wrap them around yourself. Now he's trapped, he's stuck, he can't move. Spider-Man leaves him to hang upside down from a tall tree so he can think about his evil ways. Turning to the back so you're facing the wrong way and take your legs nice and wide. Now fold your body all the way forwards so that you're looking between your legs and maybe you can see me between them. Hello. Well done, everyone. Coming back up to stand and turning to the front, releasing your arms, coming to stand. Wow. Well done, everyone. So that's what it's like to be like Spider-Man. I wonder what other superheroes you'd like to be. Let me know and we'll see what can be arranged. Have an awesome day. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe.
telephone pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and taking our legs out nice and long in front of us. Now, ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Taking hold of one of your feet and holding it up towards your ear. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Oh, can I do it? Oh, hi. Yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, Oh, good, I'm good. Fine, would you like to come? Are you? Oh, wonderful. Oh, well, yes, I'd love to come. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's put the phone down. We've been invited to a party. Oh, but I forgot to ask when it is. We'd better ring them back again. Let's take hold of the other phone now and dial the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Now, telephone pose is very good for stretching our hamstrings and opening our hips. Oh, hi. Yeah, I forgot to ask, when is the party happening? Oh, tonight. Righty-ho, then. Better get a move on. See you later. Let's put the phone down now. Putting the phone all the way forwards. This is so exciting. Better get my glad rags on. I think I'll wear my sparkly onesie. <laughs> Telephone pose. All operators are busy at this time. If you'd like to leave a message, press 1. Your call is very important to us. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Thank you for calling. Peace out. Friendly wishes. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Let's begin by finding a space for ourselves to lie down or sit. You can cross your legs and try to sit up nice and tall, or you can sit in a chair. If you are in a chair, place your feet on the floor and rest your hands in your lap. Imagine you have a bubble around you, so you are in your own special space. Take a moment now to get settled. Now, have a little moment to wriggle or fidget a bit so you feel happy to spend some time being still and relaxed. Just like all things in life, we get good when we practice and relaxing, being still, takes lots of practice. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. Now, see if you can notice your breathing. I find it helps to slow my breathing down, just so it's easier to follow. The in-breath and the out-breath. In and out. Next time as you breathe out, let your eyes softly close, if they aren't already. Now you can allow your mind to make the pictures, like a dream. You are standing by a big lake, and all around it are trees and mountains. It's beautiful. You look at the water, and see it's totally still. No breeze, no ripples. It looks like glass. Calm, still water. It's peaceful here. In your pocket, you have collected some pebbles. You reach inside your pocket and hold one in your hand. It's smooth, cold, and round. You take it out of your pocket and hold the pebble out in front of you over the lake. 
and you make a special, friendly wish. A wish for yourself. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be well. You drop the pebble into the water. The ripples spread. Your wish has landed. You reach back into your pocket for another pebble, taking it out again and holding it over the water. This time you think of someone you like very much. A friend, a family member, someone who makes you happy. As you think of them, you send them your friendly wish. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. You drop the pebble again into the water, the wish spreading through the ripples where it landed, passing through the calm water. You reach again for another pebble, holding it in front of you over the water. Now you think of someone you know, you're familiar with them, but you don't have strong feelings about them. A neighbour, a shopkeeper, or someone you might see in the street. See if you can think of them and send them a friendly wish. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. You let go of the pebble and it drops into the water. The ripples spread again and your wish lands. You reach back into your pocket and find one final pebble. Taking it out, holding it over the water. Now think of someone you don't like very much. You're not so fond of them. Someone who upset you or you don't get on with. See if you can imagine them now in your mind. You do something amazing. You send a friendly wish to them. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. Dropping the pebble, your peace and friendly wishes spread like ripples on the water. We imagine the whole world and everyone in it, sending our friendly wishes to all. May we all be happy. May we all be safe. May we all be well. Your friendly wishes will make the world a better place. A place where we share love and kindness, no matter what. With that in our hearts, we have nothing to fear. No worries on our shoulders. We are together and stronger for it. Slowly now, begin to deepen your breath. Move and stretch your fingers, toes, arms, legs, and slowly open your eyes. We come back from our peace out time and bring with us some extra goodness from having done this. Take a moment to enjoy the feeling in your body and mind and be proud of yourself for doing something so totally amazing. Your friendly wishes will go far and will reach those who you thought about. This is Jamie saying peace out.